Hi guys, Tim here from Droid Life. Today we're going to be taking a peek at the Samsung Gear Live smartwatch, which is powered by Android Wear, and we also have connected to it an HTC One M8. We won't be talking about the M8 too much, but you do need a smartphone connected to the device if you plan on receiving text messages or, you know, using any of its functionality. So. This video is going to be part of a full review, so we're going to be giving you a brief little rundown of Android Wear, the software, and also the Gear Life hardware. Um, if you've ever seen a Galaxy Gear, sorry, if you've ever seen a Galaxy Gear, then uh, this may look pretty familiar, a Gear 2. Basically, a little square device. It has a 1.63 inch Super AMOLED display with a 320 by 320 resolution. It's powered by a 1.2 gigahertz processor. Comes with Bluetooth 4.0. Has an accelerometer, gyroscope, compass. Features a heart rate monitor right here on the back side. Comes with 5 point, or 512 megabytes of RAM and 4 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, the way it works is you'll download, say, an application from Google Play, whoops, <laughs> onto your phone, and then instantaneously an extension of that application is put right on the smartwatch. So you don't need to install applications directly to the smartwatch. Really, you don't really interact with it at all. Everything happens instantaneously, um, you know, through the cloud or through over Bluetooth. So it's actually quite nice. Um, weighs five, uh, 59 grams, so it's pretty light. It's not that big. I, I've showed pictures of this on my wrist a few times, but uh, it's not that bad. Um, people might say it's a little big or anything like that, but I'm I'm used to wearing a smartwatch, uh, the Galaxy Gear, for example, so it's not that bad for me. Comes with a 300 milliamp hour battery, so you will need to be charging it uh, every every night, I'd say, at least from my experience. And comes with a rubber band, um, silicone uh, strap, so you just like you know pin it and then it stays uh, tied you know, securely on your wrist. So let's dive into some Android Wear here. Um, right here, uh, when you turn on the display of the clock I have set, it turn, gives you a new picture every time that you turn on the display. So if we could focus here. Um, so it acts like Google Now where it has cards, so when you swipe up, you see a new card every time. Here it shows me you know, how long it's gonna take to my favorite bar where I play trivia or how long it's going to take me to get to uh, any other location that I seem to go to a lot. It's going to show me the giant stuff because I follow them on Google now so it knows that I need to see that information because they have another game today against the Padres. So uh, every time an email comes in this is what you're going to see and if you swipe to the left you can either quickly delete that email, reply to that email right through voice dictation or you can open that email right on your phone by pressing that button. And if you just don't want to see that, just swipe it away. And it also disappears on the phone as well, so you won't see that notification pop up on the phone either. Um, say, for example, it'll, if you have these traffic cards, it'll show you what traffic is like from where you are and you know how long it's going to take. You can also get uh, navigate to there right by on your watch so that way you don't have to have your phone out while you're driving, which can, can be dangerous. And again, if you just don't want them, just swipe them away. Um, Quickly here, we'll show you how to get into settings. You can say, okay, Google, settings. And then it takes you right to the settings. And here we can adjust brightness and all that stuff. And to get out of these little menus here, you just swipe back to the right. And to see a nice list of everything that the Android Wear smartwatch can do, you can um, select to okay, Google, or just tap on the screen and it'll begin a Google search. And you can just swipe down and you can take a note or set a reminder. Um, it does like have a pedometer built in or it acts like a pedometer so it shows you how many steps you've taken. Yeah, and it's actually quite functional from my time with Android Wear. Uh, so far it's exactly what I wanted from a smartwatch and I've said that in my review which you'll see pretty soon. But uh, so far I'm really impressed with Android Wear. I'm really excited to see uh, where developers are going to take it. Um, I only wish that Samsung was a little bit more, um, you know, took more uh, risk uh, with the design because we, we've seen this design before. It looks like any other smartwatch that's available. So, you know, besides the bland hardware design, Android Wear is starting to look really cool. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot them in the comments below. And until then, we're Droid Life. Peace.